So good morning everyone. So let me first introduce myself. So I am teacher Wendy Cervera, your English teacher for today. So before we start, may I request to everyone to stand up and let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So please be seated, class. So once again, good morning, class. Okay, so how are you today? That's great. So is there anyone absent today? Very good. I am glad that I see your beautiful and handsome, handsome faces for today. So today we have a new topic. So are you excited? Yes, you should be excited, class, because today we have a game. Are you ready? Good. Okay, so our game for today is what is the hidden word or so. Let us identify the hidden word. So a first person that can arrange the word on the side will have a prize on me after the class. So these are the words. What do you think is the hidden word? Correct. The hidden word is language. So let me show you some pictures. So these are the three pictures. So what have you noticed? Okay. In the second uh, picture. Uh-huh. How about the last picture? All right. So now, let us connect your answers to our discussions for today. So you said that the first picture says that there are two persons talking with the use of two cans and with string. And the second picture is there are two persons who is sleeping. And the third one is there are two three children who is buying. Now, what do you think is the instrument they use to communicate? Very good. That is language. So now, what is language according to what you have said earlier? Very good. It is a system of communication. So when we say system of communication, it is our way to express ourselves. So first thing we have the verbal or the talking or speaking, singing, etc. So the second one is the nonverbal or the also known as the body language or tone. And the last one is the visual or the symbol. Pag sinabi natin verbal, ito ay ginagabitan ng mga salita. Halimbawa, ng mga, ng mga pakikipag-usap sa kapwa. Sa pangalawa naman, the nonverbal or also known as body language uses body movements as a medium of communication. And the last one is the visual or the symbol. So, these three are the ways of communica communicating to others. So, this is more likely to use a combination of these three to convey the meaning. So now, let's move on to the importance of language. So what do you think is the importance of language? Fantastic! So aside from we use it to express our feelings, what else? You're right. We use it to build communication or connection to others. So that's all our discussion. Now, we, let's move on. To your activity so this activity will measure your knowledge about our topic so these are the, the this is the direction so put a check if it conveys message and X if not so are you ready let's start Congratulations! You understand the lesson. So now, let's proceed to our individual activity. So, look at the pictures. 
So, put a check if they are using language and X if not. So, if you got five, congratulations! You understand the lesson. Okay, so again, what is language? Alright, so connect it to our daily lives. How can we use language in our lives? Fantastic kids, I know you are learning in our discussion. So for your final activity in today's topic, answer the following questions. So write true if the statement is right and false if it is not. So, if you're done, pass your papers in front in one, two, three. That's all. Thank you, kids. Okay, so for your assignment, cut at least five pictures that involves language and paste it on your sheet of paper to be submitted next week. So, that's all for today. I hope you learned something. Class dismissed.